Why you should take practice sports more serious? If I ask you, if I ask you, why you should practice sports? You will probably tell me that it's important for health, and that's right. But it's not just uh, health or attend to a very pattern. The the benefits of practicing sports and making exercise are bigger than you can imagine, and I will explain why. But before that, I will show you a bit of my experience with sports. During my lifetime, I have practiced many sports like futsal, soccer, basketball, judo, swimming, bodyboarding, and skinboarding and others but just for fun like running, cycling and longboarding. So it's obvious that these sports have a big influence on my life and on my personality. And so after years playing different modalities, I realized that the benefits are bigger than just the search for, for the perfect body. It helps to improve skills that are going to be used on the most different situations of people's life. And that's what and that's the, my experience that I'm gonna explain. So doing exercise can change the humor of the people because like when you run, when you do any kind of sports, uh, your brain increase the endorphin and serotonin levels that are hormones that they are responsible for your ha happiness and when it increases uh, you will stay happier and lighter and instead of a 24-7 stress routine you stay lighter, happier and re more relaxed than you were before doing this exercise and the, the team sports promote the socialization of people who are interested in it. so you can make friends and uh, not just stay alone all the day you can speak about uh, things you like with other people and have things in common when you practice uh, sports uh, with the technological revolution, the information is being passed faster and faster and because of that, the people are staying like with less concentration on the things they do and concentration is a crucial uh, skill that for, for life in general, for work, for school, for like we have to concentrate and do, do the, thing, the things we must do. And, and this part is a really fast way to develop your concentration skills. Like uh, when you practice a sport, you have to be concentrated and work every day and on a match or on a competition, you have to be concentrated on this um, the, on the competition, so uh, when you train your concentration, it's easier for, for, for when you make a uh, concentration for do a schoolwork, for do a job. So when you practice a sport, your concentration it's, it's increasing and being better than it was before. Moreover, the sports practice develop your leadership sense because when you work in a group, you have to know how to deal with people, with different opinions, different skills, like when, a, when someone's good at something and the others are good at other things. 
that when you lead a group, you have to get the best from each participant. And this part is a really good way to learn how to get the best from each one in a group. And with the technological revolution, people are staying more and more closed on your uh, work, and they don't know how to work in a group. And when you practice a uh, team sport, uh, you develop this work group and your empathy, all your social skills, you develop playing a sport. And on many jobs, people have to know how to work in a group. So it's important for the market that for some kind of jobs, uh, you know how to do with people with different opinions, to have empathy for work better and, and be the best one on your job and be successful. And last but not least, the society nowadays uh, usually pressures people a lot, like at the school for having good grades, be good at maths, uh, languages, uh, science, and to join the college, to have the work people want you have, not the, the job you want to have, uh, to have the perfect body, to buy that product and this product, and like, when people don't know how to deal with this pressure, they can develop some mental health problems like anxiety and depression and when you play sport since you are young you learn faster how to deal with it when you play competitions and championships you learn how to deal with losing and how to deal with winning and how to deal with the pressure behind these situations and when you learn since you are young it's better for your mind the, like life is this and it's pressure every, every time and you have to deal with it and this part is a good way to learn how to do it now that you know all the benefits the sports do on people's life you can conclude that a population who do sports they have a less stress level they have a better human intelligence they know how to work in groups better than the others and they have more concentration they know how to do with people, how to lead a group and all these things together can bring a more competition on the market with better products, more technology, better price and our life in general will be better we will have a better company. and all these things together can bring more competition on the market with better products, with more technology, with better price and our life quality in general will be better so after perceiving all the benefits I sell you why you don't start to change your, your habits now? Thank you